to the semi-finals of the Total Energy Club Champions League. Uh, just a summary of your thoughts of today's match. Yeah, good uh, evening to members of the media. <coughs> Uh, let me congratulate uh, Yanga on having had uh, uh, a good innings in uh, this year's uh, Champions League. I thought uh, they were worthy opponents and um, very resolute, so difficult to break down. <coughs> well coached with some very, very good players. So commiserations um, and uh, maybe take this opportunity to wish them the best with uh, the remainder of the season. <clears throat> Let me also congratulate this team, Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club, for reaching the semi-finals. Uh, for for uh, this, what is it? The second time in a row now, which is very important. And um, very proud of the players. Very proud of the technical team. They're very proud of the football club. It's, it was always an awkward uh, fixture. <clears throat> one we, we struggled with uh, in the first leg and I thought maybe the lack of uh, preparation time worked to our demise you know because we didn't have enough we didn't have enough uh, days to prepare for the first leg and then if you don't uh, put in a, a bit more of an aggressive offensive performance away from home and with an away goal the the home fixture becomes a little bit tricky because all they need is one goal, and uh, which they almost got, to be honest, on, on, on transition. And, and, and that's what they were playing for, you know. So, but difficult to, to play these type of games. Difficult, it's Champions League, and a lot of people forget how awkward these games are. Um, two or three people already said to me this game reminded them of the Petro game. And uh, if you remember three or four seasons ago when we had a second leg <clears throat> against Petro, we struggled a little bit and we were knocked out. But it's good today we show that we've grown as a team and um, um, for sure even if we had scored 1-0 or 2-0 or whatever the scoreline would have been, I would have still said we can play better. But yeah, that's the, all that matters now is that we're in the semi-finals. Actually, that's all that matters. And I'm, to be honest, I'm not really interested in analysing the game at the moment. I think we've got to just congratulate the players for a magnificent uh, and resolute character. Yeah. And in a very difficult week, uh, it was a tough week this week. Uh, and to get two good results uh, against two difficult opponents at home, uh, is just a uh, testament to our hard work. We work very, very hard. And um, the commitment and uh, the perseverance of, of this group, and uh, very, very proud of them. And as I said even before, sometimes we would appreciate it a little bit more, you know. And uh, as long as the players know that I appreciate them and I love them, and they will always have a special place in my heart. Thank you. Coach, we'll take questions. I see Lawrence hand is up. Um, coach, uh, congratulations. Thank coach. you, Lawrence. Lawrence, <coughs> uh, just came here and said that they were robbed by the referee and that it was a clear goal and he wasn't really interested in analysing the game, <laughs> like you said as well. Um, I've had a chance to look at that incident and how do you react to another coach saying that we're robbed in this game? Yeah, I, I, I can't find words to, to, to appease him. Of course, the feeling uh, like any other coach. Uh, but um, okay, good. I've, I would rather leave uh, my side and be extremely complimentary of the opposition uh, instead of taking that direction because there was a lot of there's a lot of other situations like the foul on with the elbow on Divine Longa inside the box, uh, and that could have been a penalty. So I don't, but I don't want to talk about those things. Except maybe if I had lost, maybe I would also take that direction. But let me, let me be gracious and, and respectful in in, in victory and uh, and uh, say that they were worthy opponents, a good side, and one we enjoyed playing against both home and away. Thank you, coach. Hello. 
Good evening, Coach. Good evening, sir. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you very much. Coach, you spoken about, you made reference to three, four seasons ago, you were knocked out of King's Pedro. Yeah. What exactly is this? It's difficult about this Champions League that, it, that makes it extremely difficult for you guys to win, uh, you know, with, with beautiful scorelines and so forth. What exactly, particularly in the knockout stages? Uh, it's tough. It's, uh, of course, the competition I said to you uh, starts in the knockouts. These games are very, very difficult. Um, and um, yeah, two two seasons in a row now uh, in the semi finals, it's important. And, and let's see, we've been knocked out a couple of times in the quarter finals, so let's cherish this moment. Uh, and even in, in games where we thought we would would come through, we, we, we've been pulled back a couple of times in the, in the history of this club, so we are entitled to absolutely nothing. I hear a lot of people saying, Sundowns are favourites. You got to have won the competition a couple of times to be favourites. You know, you, you you don't you don't get the favourites tag because uh, you you playing well and uh, everyone just thinks oh yeah, but they will win. You've got to you've got to earn it and you've got to know how to win. You you saw Alakli last week against Simba. Only one chance and, and nothing nothing one chance and they do it every season in season out. They know how to navigate their way through this competition. And that's what we are learning to do, um, to navigate our way through the competition, to, to take the, the rolls with the punches and then continue to, to roll on because uh, teams in the Champions League, especially in the knockouts, they give as much as they, they receive and that's, that's, that becomes very, very difficult. But as I said, we rather focus on, on the good feeling of, of having a very, very good week. This was a very, very good week and an important week for for the football club and uh, very, very proud and congratulations to everybody at the club. Uh, coach. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, sure, come. Uh, congratulations on the, on the progression to the semi final. Thank you, sir. Sure, come. Um, earlier this week, uh, after the Richards Bay game, you alluded to how the low, how you encountered a team that was essentially playing for a draw with the uh. um, Today, you encountered another low block, but uh. maybe that had more. Uh. Uh, Venture about them. Um, what are some of the differences in? Because because you encounter this a lot. I mean, mm. the Champions League in the league, but these low blocks. Um, what are the difference between teams that park the bus in the PSL and the ones that play in the Champions League? I don't think it's, there's much of a difference. I think, uh, of course, from a qualitative perspective, for sure, you once you get closer and closer to to the end of the tournament, the quality, of course, gets a little bit more. So the resistance is a little bit more, the coaching is a little bit more, but oh, bless you, uh, bless you. Um, but um, low blocks from, a, from just from a technical, tactical perspective are so difficult. And um, we tried, we trying, you know, we, you have to find solutions. Unfortunately, you can't complain. And we tried everything. We tried to go around, we, go, we tried to go over, we tried to go through. We tried with shots from range, which are important. We tried with set pieces. We tried with artificial transitions. And, um, but we were patient. And, and that's one, one thing I, I, I really admire about uh, this team and, is that we, we don't lose our personality. You know, we, we, we play football the way we, we want to feel it also. You know, we want, to, we want to enjoy being on the pitch. We want to play a, a brand that the, the people are on, on the stands enjoy watching and then when you play against a low block the challenge is that the game might not be as enterprising because you just see one team one team trying to break down the other team and and then that's why people sometimes say ah the game was not so good but in in in, in the game of football you need three very good teams um, and offensive in the sense that they both want to try to score and when you have a game where only one team has the responsibility to set the tempo, to set the intensity. It becomes it becomes very very difficult. But as I said, massive congratulations to this group um, for reaching the semi-finals. And then already this is uh, for me. It's already uh, an improvement on 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 last season. One trophy already. A uh, massive gap in the league. Uh, in the semi-finals like we were last season. We were in the finals on the MTN8, which is a final we didn't make last season. So I, I'm very proud with uh, what I see as an improvement. And, and if it's just a marginal improvement, then it's enough for me. Uh, and, and, and big, big, big kudos and credit to, to the players. Today was difficult, but, but I expected it to be difficult because this is Champions League and anyone who expected it to be a walkover 
uh, doesn't understand how difficult this competition is. It's a very, very tough competition. And that's why we've only won it once in, uh, I don't know how many attempts. So, so it tells you how difficult this competition is. Next question, please. Yes, sir. Um, when it comes to... Um, when it comes to the win like today, I believe that it also means that Lux and Downs are likely to get that automatic qualification to the Club World Cup. Is that like something that was in the, the back of your mind as the game was going on? And that's the thing that showed me. Is this just a game that one question, please? Just for the sake of our colleagues. Yeah, 100%. I spoke about it uh, even before. So it was an important objective for the football club and one that. Uh, um, I don't know, let's see until it's official, you know, the, um, but yeah, one of the things that made winning so important today. Coach, what do you make of, of your players' mental fortitude in terms of how they got past this? Because there are obviously a number of mental hurdles in the stage against the team. Um, because especially when you look at how, for instance, a player like Aziz responded after he missed the penalty and how your team responded throughout the whole penalty. No, as, as I said, you know, one of the one of our strengths uh, and the quality, and you you've got to come to Klonkop to to see it. You know, the the, the brotherhood, the uh, the atmosphere at the football club at the moment is very very good, um, and that's because of the players. You know, they they are amazing human beings, better human beings than I could ever be, and um, so so strong, focused, hardworking. Uh, and very patient with their coach who demands so much from them and uh, uh, that's why I've got to praise them and, and, and really, really thank them for, for representing this club the way they always represent this club with, with pride, with dignity, they give their best and we're very, very proud of, of this uh, group of players. It's been a difficult week, maybe even harder than any of the teams in the, in the quarterfinals in the Champions League because we've had to juggle the fixture while also juggling a training session on Tuesday in the morning to prepare and have one extra session in our belt because and uh, you could see today I thought the performance was a little bit better we moved the ball well we we, we we controlled the tempo we played slow in the right moments I thought we played fast in the right moments today uh, and I think we were just unfortunate with the final action in the in the final third you know there's some moments where uh, better decisions from Lodge, better decisions from Lucas, better decisions from Maseko in the in the in the final third. But okay, even even Marcelo coming into the assist zone with one or two passes that could have been a bit better. But uh, you can't fault them for trying, and uh, that's the most important thing. Can we improve one hundred and fifty percent? We can, and I would love to still continue to improve as the competitions go on. You know, and to be still in the three competitions while we are still we know we can still improve is actually a very good sign show kids uh, coach um last season just before uh, you played uh that you spoke about uh having to fight against uh, the monopoly that the north african teams have and um uh, one might make an example of the, the afl how you were able to get through um, Go past Bali, win against with that. Um, this quarterfinal against your team from Tanzania, like how 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 important was this lesson? It's like oh, in all the lessons that you've been mm -hmm. talking about, going through and getting the experience, like taking a detour to play this type of team. Oh, it's always uh, win. You you learn, lose. You learn even more. And um, as I said, I just want to congratulate Yanga. Uh, for being very, very good opponents. Difficult to break down in both legs. Um, um, well coached and with some very, very good players. And I think mine is just to show respect and uh, appreciation to to the football club and uh, as an opposition and, and congratulate them on having had a very, very good tournament. Uh, but yeah, let's enjoy this, uh, this situation. Now we've got a tough one in Cape Town on Tuesday. Very, very tough against uh, one of my favorite coaches and coaches. And so I'm looking forward to seeing him 
maybe he brings a he brings a smile on my face on Tuesday. Uh, he's, he's, he's someone I really I, I adore big time, big time. And that's very true. Don't spin it, guys. <laughs> we'll take the last two questions, colleagues, and then we'll close it off. Go ahead. Um, coach, uh, congratulations on the win. Sia Sanga here from the Sunday World. Sure, Sia. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Coach, yesterday you said, um, during the press conference, you said something profound. Um, you said that you wanted Loftus to be a Cathedral today, and that the fans should um, worship the team. You know? So, um, what do you make of uh, the turnout today, and what would be the message to, to the Yellow Nation? I thought the turnout was very, very good. Uh, can it be better? Yeah, it's like our performance. Can it be better? Yeah, and uh, but uh, but you've got to praise them. You know, it's not easy on a Friday night, uh, and uh, of course, with some of the social ills that we face for our people, uh, not being able to always afford the tickets, uh, not being able to afford the transfer fare, uh, transport fare. Um, it's a very extensive expenditure to 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 attend uh, football matches, and sometimes we we neglect that. But of course, when they make such an effort to come out and support this team, you've got to. Which was one of the things when we went to the penalty shootout. I said, not in front of our people, and not after the effort they've made to come out and to support you. No chance. And uh, the boys responded to that, and 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 I'm happy that they made the supporters happy. They 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 deserve it. Um, the one thing about the Sundown supporters, and maybe it's because of the investment, they love this club, but they suffer with the team too much. You know, and the team suffers and is 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 going through a difficult, and, and that's and that's football. You know, and the Champions League, you can't dominate every single second of the match, and you see it when we go away from home and the whistles and the smoke. That once we start to gain momentum and they break down the moment, because you can never you can never dominate for ninety minutes. Uh, in the Champions League, it's very, very difficult. Uh, but the investment of our fans, and you see it all the time, is that they suffer with us, you know. And it's it's in those moments because they are not on the pitch, they've got to now. That's when they they should beat the drum a little bit more. That's when they should push the players a little bit more, you know. And uh, but of course, uh, just like the team on the pitch, and just like the coach off the pitch, and the technical team, we've got to learn how to play these games in the Champions League. I think also the supporters are learning how to invest and get involved in Champions League games. And, uh, and as, I, as I said even before, we won so many important games, like in the AFL against uh, Widad in the second leg, against al Akhli in the second leg. We won because of our fans. And I think today we also did because of the turnout and the noise that they, they kept um, chanting and pushing the team. But of course, in, the, in some of the moments I could feel and I was looking behind them and I said, you've got to make more noise. Uh, you've got to push the team a little bit more. Um, but, but it's the love they have for the team, you know. They, they've got high expectations and, 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 that's, and that's a privilege, you know, to play in front of a crowd that has high expectations for their team is a, is a massive, massive, massive privilege. And, and uh, mine is just to encourage them to continue, you know, continue. And even in the league games, they've got to, this turnout is, is, what, is, what, is what this club deserves and it's what the football players deserve. They invest so much and they deserve to play in a, in, in a not a full, full out uh, capacity stadiums. They do, because of, not only because of the type of football they play, but just because of the type of team that they are, good human beings, and they, they deserve to be to be celebrated, you know, every time they take the pitch. Thank you, Coach. <coughs> Coach, must have been here. Sure, when, when you look at this, the 120 minutes uh, of, of, of this younger game, and I maybe take you back to the Wigger game as well as last team mm. in the semis when we couldn't go through because it was a draw. With the, these two games, the performances, at least in, in against Wigger, you scored, but where especially with this one would you say improvements should be made as you go for for the semi-final is it is it in, in, in maybe if it's playing can you explain where or if it's the opponents how they set up where where should the improvements be as you approach the, the semi-final everywhere uh, but you today you will forgive me i'm not getting technical because i just want to enjoy the moment of being in the semi-final guys you know we are 
we are in the semi final, yeah. and that's what matters. We are in a semi final, guys. We Sundowns is in the CAF Champions League semi finals, and that should be the heading uh, tomorrow. Regardless of every other thing, we are in the semi finals, and that for me is all that matters. Thank you, coach. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, T. Thank you, guys. Travel safe. Thank you.